Hello everybody, we're here at the Crater Summit for Car Supplies Warehouse, and I'm bringing companies together. You know, we got the Rag Company, we got Anthony Fisher, we got Mr. Chris from Barrows, and we're talking about picking the right quality microfiber to do a proper waterless wash. So Chris, tell us a little bit about your waterless wash to kick things off. Yep. And uh, you know, it's got SIO2 infused, has all kind of things it does, one step wash and coat, that kind of deal. Tell us a little bit about it and why it's a really good waterless wash you got here. Yeah, so what's really important about this is I, I wanted to combine two different steps into one. So it does clean and, protect. and protects at the same time. So this comes from the same family, the protection that's in this is the same SIO2 that's in our ceramic boost product. Nah. It's just a little bit less of it yeah. to make it more friendly and easy to use. So what we're trying to do is give the consumer something to be able to wipe their car down after maybe you washed it a couple days ago and it really doesn't need that full on wash yet. Right. Or you're in the middle of a car show and the car's getting a little dusty. You want to safely clean it and wipe it down. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing today is researching with the rag company. We're researching right. the proper towel with our blend of this particular right, waterless you can, wash. You can take a high quality waterless wash like this and still grab, you know, a bath towel and you're right. going to do some right. damage, even though this right. is high quality, got the right. surfactants, got the SiO2 right. slick in, slickness in it. So right. we're going to throw it to Mr. Fisher and he's going to take over oh, and show us what this high quality microfiber is all about. How's it sound, buddy? Good, man. So all right, pretty, pretty, to you. pretty happy to be here. So uh, yeah, this was this idea literally just kind of came about as we started talking towels and we started experimenting uh, with the products. It's my first time ever using this product. And uh, we were like, dude, this stuff feels amazing with our towels, but let's actually talk about towels and kind of what you're looking for when it comes to a waterless wash product. And so uh, waterless washing, why is it necessary? Why do you need to do it, right? You're out on a road trip, right? You've collected a ton of bug guts on the front. Maybe a standard quick detailer isn't going to have enough cleaning power to be able to safely clean and remove those bugs, right? Let's just say you're going to a car show. What happened? You got stuck in a dust storm. Oh no, right? Same situation. Quick detailer may not be able to cut that. So you're gonna jump up to a waterless wash because A, it's gonna have more cleaning power. It's gonna have either more polymers in it, more surfactants, something able that's fo focused on cleaning, but it may also be able to leave you with a nice high gloss shine. Whereas this is more of a hybrid waterless wash, which is gonna feature not only some cleaning power, but it's also gonna have some protection, slickness, and gloss. Correct. Yep. Right? Correct. So when it comes to towels, right, choosing the right towel for the job is very, very important. I cannot emphasize this enough because there's so many people that have bad experiences with waterless washes right. because they're grabbing the wrong towel, right? And the towel is probably one of the most important parts along with the product. It's a symbiotic relationship of being, have, being able to have a product that can do the job, but also being able to have a towel that can provide you with that best experience for the wipe off. So what that means is that we have multiple different types of towels, right? The rag company sells like 150 different types of microfiber towels and we have a lot of options and oftentimes it can be Chris, kind of intimidating, right? When it comes to yeah. trying to find the right towel for the job. And so what I did is I pulled out three of what I consider some of my favorites for waterless washing. So first and foremost here, we have the Eagle Edgeless 500. It's a 500 GSM 7030 blend with a circular knit weave, a very high pile ultra plush towel. This is one of the safest towels that you can buy on the market. And when it comes to safety, like this is really it, right? Not that I would ever dry wipe a car or dry wipe dust off of it, but if I were, this would probably be the safe bet, right? Now, when you combine that with a very safe and awesome waterless wash, you are getting the safety net of the towel, but you're also getting the cleaning power and the glossifying power of the product itself. Yeah, it takes now, two premium products to get a premium result. It's, right. it's exactly it, right? If, yeah. if I were to take this awesome product right here, right, the diluted and ready to rock and roll, uh, and take, let's just say, a Scott's Blue shop towel, right? Mm -hmm. My experience, probably not gonna be awesome. A bounty yeah. bounty paper towel, right? Yep. Probably not gonna be the best thing. Yep. And so another towel that we pulled over here, right, for just a change of pace is the Creature Edgeless. So what this is, this is a dual pile 70-30 blend weave towel. It has a traditional terry weave, but what's different about this is because of the dual pile, you're getting the safety net of having something that's longer on one side and then shorter on the other side to have a little bit more bite to give you a better experience with that particular product. And so we've been going through and kind of wiping down some areas and you've noticed a difference, yeah, right? For sure. In the yeah. feel, the wipe off and everything yeah. in between there. Yeah. So then the last towel we're gonna bring up today for a waterless wash is going to be the FTW. So this towel is more unique because this is going to be a shorter pile twist loop weave, right? Basically, basically the twist loop was created from mock technology, right? So uh, as a mock is a very absorbent, it's also something that's able to clean large surface areas. It really comes down to the density of that weave 
and how much it can absorb and how much it can actually uh, do. It's, it's pretty incredible. So the FTW has to be one of our best sellers for multiple reasons, but we don't often talk about it for waterless wash and how capable right. it is for something like this. So uh, the FTW not only does it hold a lot of liquid, but it also provides a very good feel, especially when using something that lowers the surface tension of a surface, right? Such as this waterless wash right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over a quick little demo here. So you have you hold that. The Eagle's wet side. Wet side here, the Eagle. So Eagle Edgeless 500 here. I'm gonna just talk about kind of the differences that you're gonna see when you're using something like this with a plush pile towel. Giving us a couple sprays here. When it comes to a waterless wash, I'm never stingy about using the product, right? This isn't really meant to be a super cost efficient product, but it's a very versatile product and something that you're still gonna absolutely use. Uh, but it's something that isn't gonna necessarily replace a full soap and water wash, right? If we're honest, right? No. It's not gonna have all the rinsing power, but it's still gonna be able to do a ton and punch above its weight class. So what I like to do here is spray down my waterless wash. I like to spray a lot. Don't be stingy with it. Make sure you have enough on hand. And once you've sprayed off an area, I take my towel, give it a couple sprays, and what I'm doing is I'm adding lubrication not only to the towel, but also to the surface, so I'm reducing any chance of dry wiping, right? Not that I'm probably gonna have a whole lot of chance of marring, I'm just trying to reduce that as much as possible. From here, I'm gonna take my towel, and I'm going to work in straight lines, and I'm going to roll my towel as needed to lift that away from the surface. So again, I'll probably have one more wipe out of this side right here, flipping and rolling. I got a little spot right there, maybe some bug guts, anything like that. I'm just gonna give a quick little scrub, flip and roll my towel. So once I've saturated my towel or maybe I have some dirty spots on it, this again is when I'm not stingy. I'm gonna flip my towel again to a nice new clean side, give it a couple more sprays here just to make sure I got everything. I feel safe and confident in flipping the towel and actually buffing in the product right here. And what am I left with? I'm left with a clean surface. Now, there's some hard water spots on here because this is a rental car, yep. but looking past that, I'm feeling this and I'm like, Jamie, I mean, oh, it's yeah, slick, Chris. dude. <laughs> it's, Dang. It's, it's, there wasn't nothing on this Suburban, let me tell you. It's, 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 it's feeling feels, good. I'd it like feels, to address something super yeah, important. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Every time you say something, it sounds so much cooler. <laughs> 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 I know, I know, I know. Yeah. I know, the accent's pretty sweet, man. I know, I gotta go down south for a couple <laughs> years. Chris, the silica content in this, how, how much protection are we getting? Two, two, four it's weeks? About three, three months. Three months. Three months. Three months. No, it's got yeah. some pretty good. No, it really is. Properties. It really is like the little baby brother of our ceramic yeah. piece, which is a six, six month. month. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So and the, the only reason it's not any stronger is so it will play nice with the waterless wash uh -huh. factor of it, and says so it doesn't give you too much grief outside. Yeah. Kind of it's going right. to play really well with a coated car. Right. Right. It's, it's, yeah. well. it's going right. to cleanse the the coated car surface and add a little more SiO2 to the top. So yeah. real, yeah. really yeah. slick it up. Because I mean, this is that feels good. Right. Yeah. Right. So now one thing I noticed about the towel, right? So. On most surfaces, the Eagle Edgeless 500 is gonna feel amazing, right? When you're going for that wipe off, you will have that flush feel. You are lowering the amount of pressure points that you would have within the towel, right? Because of the plushness of it, I can put my towel right here, put my hand right here. I can apply pressure and I can feel that I'm not necessarily feeling individual fingers touching the actual paintwork, right? I'm feeling that pile of the towel and I know I have that safety net there that feels really nice, right? I remove my hand, what do I see? I see my handprint, right? That's barely made its way into that first little layer of the towel. So this is a nice safety net towel. It's perfect for maybe an area that's dirtier than others. And the only trade off here is that because it's an ultra plush towel, you might have a little bit of manufacturing residual lint, right? I would say that every one of our towels is lint free, but I, I can't confidently say that, right? With a towel such as this, there's always the one occasion where you might have a couple stray hairs of something but that's the trade-off to having an ultra plush towel. Right. Now, the Creature Edgeless here, going over to this side, this towel right here is awesome. It's kind of a do-it-all. Interior, exterior, it's kind of got you covered. But when it comes to a waterless wash, I'm gonna focus on the higher pile because of that safety net. This is a traditional Terry style weave. The Terry style weave came from traditional Terry cotton towels, right? That was one of the first weaves that manufacturers were able to do with their sewing technology and it transferred to microfiber because that was a very easy transition at that time. And we'll get into the more you know, complicated weeks here in just a second when it comes to the wipe off. But taking this towel here, spraying my product on, focusing on the higher pile side, a couple sprays into here. Again, I'm gonna go for my wipe, flip my towel as needed, go for my buff off here, 
And what I'm noticing here is that because of that slightly shorter pile, the surface tension, right? I'm noticing that slickness a little bit more. I'm looking, I'm not seeing any residual length at all whatsoever. Now, the other cool thing too, is that once you clean the area and you really, really want that slick feel, I'll simply flip my towel over to the lower pile side. There you go, you remove the dirt. I've removed the dirt and now I can buff off or add any more product as needed to touch it up, add a little bit more gloss and shine. But this side of the towel feels substantially more slick when I'm doing my wipe. And that's because of the shorter pile. So again, it's got the best of both worlds. It's got the safety net. It's got the awesome feel. Probably, in my opinion, a better user experience for the style of product than the Eagle. Now, last but not least, the FTW. So I got my wet side right here. Again, twist loop weave. This has the butter soft suede border here, 70-30 blend on both the border and the towel itself. This is going to provide, in my opinion, probably the best immediate satisfaction of the product. So spraying this on here. Again, spraying to my towel. I go for my wipe and almost literally immediately, I have no streaking of the product whatsoever because this towel has more bite to it and more absorbency. So I'll go over here, wipe off the rest of my product. And in one pass versus two, I've cut my time in half by switching to this style of weave. And I've had the exact same result with a nice slick feel. Now to really just send it home, do maybe one more spray, go over the car again. And this, this is where you're gonna witness the slickness, man. This is where you're gonna really feel this. So Chris, do you wanna try that? Sure. I'm gonna flip this towel over here. I do. And I'll give you the feel of what this feels like with this towel. Um, should I, question, should I be worried that, that this has an edge and that border and that, and that so the border doesn't? Works. So that's a good question. So edgeless towels, right? The reason why I started making edgeless towels is because most people didn't like what's called an overlock stitch edge, right? Mm -hmm. An overlock stitch edge is basically going to be a foundation edge that goes around here that may have a slightly rougher feel than that of, uh, let's just say a satin edge, right? And so when most people heard of having a towel having edges, they go, well, the edge can scratch, can't it? Well, no, not necessarily because the edge is also made out of microfiber. It's a safe microfiber, but it may not feel as nice as the rest of the towel. So what happened is, is that most people started putting satin banded edges. Satin band, satin bands feel really nice. Yep. Satin's just a nice, nice crisp feel to it, but there was a problem with satin. Mm -hmm. Satin in general is not absorbent, right? So you go to wipe something with satin, and it's like satin sheets, right? I don't know yep. if you guys have ever been in satin sheets. They're not absorbent, right? That yep. liquid just kind of moves around for a little bit and you don't want that there, right? I don't know what liquid I'm talking about. You know, I don't know what I'm talking about, but maybe whatever it is. And so what ended up happening is we said, okay, satin edges, while yes, they do a, serve a purpose, right? And yeah. they do feel better than overlock stitch. They still aren't as versatile. So, yeah, so they well, feel good on your hands, but maybe not the best for the paint. Yep, exactly. So what we ended up doing was incorporating buttersoft suede, right? So our suede um, is extremely absorbent, also a 70-30 blend and it's absorbent in the fact that you can attach it to a towel and that leading edge is still going to be pulling in product and it's still going to be exceptionally safe. So the satin edge, right? Not only does it provide a good experience, it's safer, adds a little bit more density to the towel. And I would say that in my opinion, between choosing something with an edgeless design, I absolutely love it. But the satin edge here, or I should say the suede edge on this, adds a flop to the towel that I just love. And what yeah. I mean by flop is, when I grab that towel and I feel that just weight to it, yep. that to me kind of screams quality, right? Mm -hmm. And I think, okay, I like that. It feels it feels good, right? It's like when somebody hands you something that they say, hey, this is something that's expensive, right? Or maybe should be expensive, and you feel it and you go, yeah, yeah. that makes yeah. sense, right? That, yeah. that feels really quality. And mm -hmm. so that's where maybe the experience of this may be uh, a little bit different, maybe better for some people. So again, just to kind of recap things here, we have the Eagle Edgeless Foundation Towel. Uh, it's gonna be one of the probably safest towels, if not the safest towel yeah. within the microfiber realm. Uh, it's absolutely amazing wet, it's amazing dry, it's amazing damp, and really the only trade-off is because of the amount of fibers on there, there could be the occasional residual lint. The Creature Edgeless right here, 
the best of both worlds. Interior, exterior, you, know, you name it. Uh, it's kind of a do-it-all towel. It's really hard to kill these towels. They just keep yeah. coming back for more, yeah. uh, but they're just amazing at doing exactly this. Now, the FTW, slightly more expensive, mm -hmm. and I, I mean slightly. I premium mean, FTW. It's, it's, it's premium. Yeah. This towel right here, um, I think for that initial, bam, your hand touches the paint, your towel touches the paint for the first time, this is, it, it sends people over the top. They go, wow, I, I get the full real experience. It's also just as safe. It's gonna be more absorbent. And again, I like the fluff it provides with that suede edge. Yeah. Should I be concerned because there's silica in this and it's it's an actual SiO2 infused, mm -hmm. should I be concerned with the condition of my towels afterwards, maybe yeah. getting loaded with loaded with SiO2 or kind of getting clogged? Yes. Are, they, are they still gonna perform the same or is there something I should do to maintain them a little bit differently? Yeah, that's a great question. So when it comes to using anything that has protection in it, right, that protection is gonna to wanna to bond to just about anything, right? Mm -hmm. Whether it's paintwork, whether it's glass, whether it's trim, whether it's wheels, you name it, right? Protection products want to cling onto things, yep. meaning that you're spraying them into a towel, they're gonna to wanna to cling onto that towel. What ends up happening is that towels become hydrophobic, meaning that they will lose their absorbency, right? You've clogged mm -hmm. a lot of those fibers that are thirsty for water and you've given them a full meal, yeah, right? Okay. Instead of water. And so, yeah. And so what happens from there, you have to figure out a way to declog that towel, right? Get rid of the silica out of the towel okay. and restore it to its original form. So what I tell people is that uh, a little bit of all-purpose cleaner goes a very long way. A microfiber detergent goes a long way. So taking a towel that you just use with, let's just say a heavy silica product, we've obviously diluted this just a little bit. Um, you could take that towel and you could put it in a bucket with a splash of APC or a splash of microfiber detergent and it'll start breaking down that silica from the towel. Wow. Meaning you can go straight from that bucket right into your washer and wash out the rest of that product, preserving it and restoring it for that next use. Right. Okay. You can keep it wet, get it in a bucket immediately. It's gonna help. Yeah. But if you let it harden up, you can still go home, throw it in a bucket, let it set overnight. Yep. To reactivate, break that down, kind of deal, get it in the wash the next day. Yeah, and, and the thing is, is if this dries into the towel, right, is it gonna ruin the towel? Absolutely not, right? No. Microfiber okay. towels are extremely durable. So all it's gonna do is maybe clog it and seal it up a little bit. And maybe your next experience may not be so nice with that particular exact towel, yep. okay. but that's why washing microfiber towels is extremely important. So whether or not this waterless wash sits inside your trunk with a batch of towels that you're using often, it's always smart to take those towels and wash them as often as you can okay. just to keep them preserved. Do you have um, some suggestions for the viewers on uh, on your guys' towels? How should you wash and dry them? There's, I always hear like no heat, high heat, no like super low heat, uh, hanging on the clothesline. What, what do you really suggest as the rag company when, when people are using your towels? What's the proper wash process look like? Tell people low and slow. So basically wash with like purposes, right? So you can wash your wash mitts and your drying towels together, right? Um, but I'm not gonna wash my wheel towels with my wash mitts together, right? I'm not wanting to spread those type of contaminants into those types of media. So, yeah. so that's um, not the wheel towels also with the waterless wash towels. Yes, yeah, ex yeah. exactly, right? Um, and it's also the same with my compound towels, right? I don't wanna wash my compound towels with my interior towels just in case all that residual compound gets into my interior towel, right? It's not gonna feel as yep. good anymore. You're gonna wanna pair it up with a premium microfiber detergent. Yep. Anthony, I think you gotta answer that as well. Yeah, so uh, Rag Stretches, right, is the, is the rag company's microfiber detergent. It's a dedicated detergent, which was actually designed to be able to get and get under, right, has a lower surface tension than that of most sealants and silica sprays out there to get under that and start working out that product from out the fibers uh, to restore that towel back to its original state and also be able to keep the color looking well, uh, good as well. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's our own dedicated microfiber detergent. We absolutely love it. But if you don't have rags to riches, you can use a clean and free, a free detergent, right? So something that doesn't have fabric softeners or dyes or scents or anything like that. You can, but if you're buying the premium microfiber, <laughs> just go ahead and spend, pair it up with the premium a, detergent. Spend a little I'm bit I'm telling more. you, it extends yeah. the life of the towels. They get back to fa basically factory fresh. You might lose some dye along the way, yeah. but you, that, that's the right way to take care of your microfiber. Yeah, premium so. towels, premium detergent. You know, yeah. you're all in. Yeah, you're getting all the in. Getting the you're getting the high quality microfiber. You're all in this one. Yeah. Right. That, yeah. that thing wraps it up, Anthony. I think that does, man. So yeah. this stuff, honestly, feels pretty freaking crazy. Chris, um, I'm very, uh, I'm not impressed <laughs> with a lot of waterless washes, Chris. Yeah. And this one really blew me away. And now Good. Anthony Good. might be a waterless wash master. I, you know, I, I, but I, 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 I knew I, what he was doing. I, a little slick, bit, you know? there's no streaks, yeah. black paint. 
yeah. in out you know outdoors yeah. direct sunlight kind of deal this is a i'm blown away so this is the first video with Veros. we'll probably film a couple more yep. and uh check out this uh, sio2 infused ceramic wireless wash i also see chris 10 percent of proceeds are donated to children's cancer charities so yeah, that's yeah, a big win-win. That's correct. Yeah, it's awesome. Ten percent of gross proceeds. So gross right proceeds. Right off the top. So anything you guys purchase, we're going to take ten percent of that and donate it to children with cancer. There you go. And where that's can they amazing. find these? Uh, this uh, Veros brand. Uh, Veroscarcare.com and, and Car Supplies Warehouse. Car Supplies Warehouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's yeah. why we're here. So yeah. Anthony. Radcompany.com. Rad Car Supplies Warehouse. Man, you got it, dude. Hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you, gentlemen. Catch y'all in the next. One. <laughs>